dog killers have returned. Cross the line of stones, Rangers. I'm begging you. Come forward and die like the dogs you killed. Don't fucking lie to me. I know you did it last time you came around here killing my people. You have a cure? No bullshit? I... I don't believe it. I, uh... Well... All right, Rangers. I ain't gonna turn down a chance to cure my dogs. But if you're lying to us, you're dead. Hear me? dearly love to cut you up and feed you to our dogs. But if you really have a cure, then stand right where you are and wait. The boss is coming. If you don't have a cure, then make a move. It'll be your last. You Come better. On, Raina. You can make it, girl. I want you to see the men who did this to you. And then, I'll kill them. So, Rangers, they tell me you can cure my dogs. Can you raise the dead ones, too? Can you bring Rex back to me? That's what this was all along, wasn't it? Just a trick. A way to finally put me in my place. First, you give my dogs the plague, knowing I'll go nuts and attack you. Then, when I'm all overextended and desperate, you come here and offer me a cure. And expect me to kiss Ranger ass to get it. Well, fuck you! This is exactly the kind of evil bullshit I expect from the Rangers, and I'm not buying it. More Ranger lies. If you didn't infect the dogs, then prove it. Ah, oh, sure. The Rangers always tell the truth. Here's some truth for you. When we're done talking, you're gonna die. There's only one deal I'll make. You cure my dogs, and I won't kill you. Take it or leave it. You don't know the name? How about the name Bobby? Ring any bells? Of course not. The Rangers are a fucking steamroller that doesn't stop to learn the names of the insignificant ants it crushes beneath its wheels. Well, let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, a boy and his dog lived in Highpool, and one day the Rangers came to town and killed the dog. Oh, they said it had rabies, but does that explain them gunning down the little boy too, when he was armed with nothing but a BB gun? Any wonder that when that little boy clawed his way back from the edge of the grave, he vowed to hurt the Desert Rangers worse than they'd hurt him? Any wonder that he started the biggest, baddest gang in the land and made the Desert Rangers their public enemy number one? We're a militia now, Ranger. The law in these parts. And pretty soon, we're gonna be the law in all of Arizona. My dream has always been to show you fucking cowboy tyrants how to do peacekeeping right. Treat the people with respect. Not kill their children. Ah, we're in transition. I'm getting rid of the bad apples as quick as I can. And people are easier to protect when they're under tight control. If everybody works on the company farm, we don't have to patrol a bunch of far-flown cabins and shacks. Everybody's happier, right? Sometimes the people don't know what's best for them. Sometimes you have to force them into good decisions. They'll thank us later. Trust me. That's different. The Rangers are a bunch of dog-killing bullies who don't care what happens to the little people. Because... because... Okay, maybe forcing people isn't the best way. But how else are you supposed to get them all organized and protected? How are you supposed to get all the gear and guns you need unless you tax them? Ha, that's rich. Me take advice from the Desert Rangers? Why would I want to do that? All right, Rangers, all right. You've made your point. 
I guess we've got some things to learn. Okay, you cure my dogs. I'll pull back my boys and come to the table. But no promises that it'll all work out, peaches and cream. And if you kill any of my dogs, the deal's off, and you're dead. Start with Raina here, and head to the kennel. Come back when you're done. Raina, she's better already. Amazing. Now, go to the kennel. Rangers, hurry. Copy, Echo One. How you Echo feeling, Raina? Who's a good Echo girl? One. Who's You've a good well. girl? Yes, sir. A fine-looking bitch, sir. <laughs>